welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. It's that time of year where we need to pay a little extra attention to our body care in this cold weather so I thought it would be a great time to share my winter shower routine with you so let's get straight into the video. So first up we'll be touching on oral care, I start off by using dental floss then also going in with my Sony Care water flosser. I love using my water flosser don't get me wrong but the only thing is I don't find it does the job properly alone so I would still recommend using both or just sticking with dental floss but using a water flosser if this is aligned with you definitely it definitely elevates your oral care routine for sure. Brushing my teeth, I'm using this Colgate toothpaste, which I'm not specific about at the moment as I'm always switching them up. And I'm using this with my Sony Care electric toothbrush, which I absolutely love. And after brushing my teeth, I go straight in with my tongue scraper, which is cheap and a lot more easier to use if you find you don't get on with the bigger ones. And um, this one is just from Superdrug, super accessible. And then to finish off, I use this Aura Rinse, which I actually lost the footage for. So we are now onto the shower part of the video and I'm starting with a face cleanse using CeraVe Foaming Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I've got on with this face cleanser really really well and this was actually gifted to me but this is in no way sponsored at all for this video. I've just been using it ever since and I've loved it so much. Um, it's lasted a while and I love how well it cleans your skin while still leaving it hydrated which is a dream. Um, also I'm pretty sure my skin barrier is broken as well from the different skincare products I've tried lately but hopefully we can get back on track so if anyone does have any recommendations for repairing your skin barrier then please please let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you now onto my body cleanse i'm using the dove beauty bar with this washcloth I feel like this just takes me back to my childhood, I don't know if you can relate but this bar soap and washcloth combo is just so nostalgic for me. Um, I love how gently this cleanses your skin and I love how moisturising it is at the same time. I feel like some bar soaps can leave your skin feeling stripped and just left feeling weird um, which is why I usually steer more towards the liquid soap form a lot of the times but this has definitely been a staple for me these winter months. I use this all over my body apart from my face and my lady area but everywhere else is fine for me. I like to use this foot brush to give my feet a good clean as well. This little brush is super handy for getting in between your toes and the bottoms of your feet. The pumice stone side is also really handy um, so you can keep your feet feeling nice and smooth in between your pedi appointments. After rinsing off the Dove Beauty Bar I go in with the body scrub and I'm using the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub and this is in the Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk scent. I absolutely love using this and it's great for smoothing out your skin especially before shaving. Again, just keeping this on my body area and working the product into my skin using circular motions just to help lift away any dead skin cells. I also pay extra attention to my elbows, my knees, my feet, anywhere that is rough and also I pay extra attention to my legs as well so I can get a closer and better shave. I really feel like exfoliating before shaving is the key to better looking and lasting results.
shaving time so I'm taking my razor and shave cream this shave cream I think I got when I was abroad so I'm not sure but I think you can get the same one or similar here in the UK I mean it's not any different to what I've used before but as a guide I tend to go for ones that are moisturizing and great for sensitive skin and when I'm shaving I just shave against the hair growth direction so usually in upward strokes on the backs of my legs sometimes I shave sideways and using a good razor is also key to getting a good shave I buy my razor heads in multi pack so I can always change them when needed. I think this particular razor head is the Spa Breeze with a moisturizing cream barrier which makes such a difference when shaving. So much so that I just use it alone when shaving my armpits. There's no need for any added product and I have zero irritation. Okay, so next up is the star of the show. I love, love, love this product. Definitely a happy purchase of mine and lives well up to the hype. It's the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash by Naturium. This is an oil to gel body wash formula and it just feels like creamy silk on your skin. I think that's the best way to describe it and it leaves your skin feeling nourished. I'm even mad at myself for using how many three pumps of this and all you need is one pump. Just one pump and you're good to go. I highly recommend trying this product if you haven't already. I just lather this all over my body. You can use your hands or a washcloth, whatever you prefer. If you are using a loofah like me, then make sure to change these out more frequently as these do harbor bad bacteria. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But hello, are you seeing how good my skin looks right now? This body wash always has me acting different every single time. I mean, dry skin wear. Comment down below if you've tried this yet or about to. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now I'm going in with this wash for my lady area, you already know the rest but if you don't then let me know so I can go into more detail in another video for you. But this particular wash works just fine for me, I did switch from another one as you would have seen in my previous video, that one unfortunately started causing me some irritation so I switched to this one which is for sensitive skin and so far so good so I will update to you if anything does change. When I get out of the shower I tend to just pat my skin with a towel but just slightly enough to keep my skin damp because then I go in with a body oil and for this I'm using one from Palmer's which is their skin therapy oil. Definitely a staple in my skincare. I love how my skin looks and feels after using this and it just absorbs well into my skin. Applying a body oil like this onto damp skin is just going to lock in all that moisture and keep your skin hydrated. Then I like to use a moisturiser or lotion on top and for this I'm using this Nivea body lotion which is so so good. I recently picked this up on a whim and it turned out to be so good. I was so impressed. My skin is always left feeling so soft all the way through to the next day after using this. I also love that this comes as a pump which literally saves so much time and effort. I highly recommend trying this if you haven't already and it contains shea butter which is an absolute favourite of mine so just can't go wrong. For deodorant I use the Dove Original Spray as usual and I've also been using the roll on first and then the spray on top. I find that this keeps my underarms nice and moisturised with a bit more protection. For my face I'm using a Clinique Clarifying Toner, then the Quarterly Beauty Elixir, then the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil and finishing with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel. And last but not least I'm using this Laneige Lip Sleeper Mask which I love so much. For fragrance I decided to use my Laura Mercier in Almond Coconut which just ties everything together. And that is everything for this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video then make sure to like, comment and subscribe so I know, and I will see you in the next one, take care.
Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm sharing my morning shower routine with you. I have just finished working out so I'm all sweaty and I can't wait to get into the shower, get myself clean and fresh for the rest of the day. I'm also feeling in need of a little indulgence so I'm going to be using a couple of my favourites I love to use on a self-care day just to level up this usually simple routine. So let's get into the video. First, I'm doing my oral hygiene, which I'm sort of running through quickly in the video, but if you wanted to know more about this in more detail, I've linked my recent hygiene routine at the top of the screen if you did want to check that out. Now it's shower time. As always, I'm starting with my face cleanse. I'm using the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I feel like I've said this a million times now, but I just love this cleanser. I just don't think you can go wrong with this. On to body care, I'm using the Simples Nourishing Body Cream, which is an all-time favourite of mine. It's gentle on my skin, it gets the job done every single time, and I'm using this with an exfoliating net, which I've actually repurchased a several, well, I've repurchased several times now. It's gentle, it's effective, um, it's not as good as the African net sponge but super easy to get your hands on and a good alternative if you are interested and this has definitely kept my skin clear and free from spots only until I stopped using it recently so I'm back using it again and also don't mind the spot on my neck as this was actually a mosquito bite that I reacted to and it became inflamed, fun. I've had this for almost two months now and it's slowly going down although it will probably scar apparently. Um, I'm lucky it didn't get infected but that is what that is in case you were wondering. So I've rinsed off now and I'm going in with another cleanse using the same body cream but I'm using my exfoliation gloves. I'm also being a little extra and adding some of the everywhere wash for sensitive skin as it's just going to help with strengthening, nourishing and protecting my skin which I'm definitely going to need for the next steps.
Okay, so now I'm going in with a little treat and I'm using the Way Scalp and Body Scrub in the Melrose Place scent, which smells so divine. And in case you were wondering, I have tried this on my scalp, but it did feel too weird for me, especially with my curly hair. So I just stick to using it for my body, which was the intention when I initially purchased this. If you have tried this or any scalp scrub on your own scalp, I would love to know how you got on. So do let me know. I'd be so interested to know. And apart from the scent of this product, my other favourite thing about this is how creamy the consistency becomes. It's very nourishing and not too brace abrasive at all. And it almost feels gentle, to be honest. And once this is washed off your skin, it leaves your skin so soft and glowing and the scent just lingers on your skin afterwards. I'm also shaving today, I don't actually shave every day by the way, and I think it's around two to three times a week I shave depending on whether my armpits or my legs will be out, if I'm being completely honest here, but definitely not every day, I feel like my skin is just too sensitive for that. And I'm just using the same razor and shave cream I've been using lately, and I actually nicked myself in this routine, which I never actually do, but it always seems to happen when I'm filming this video, so I don't know what that is about. And so to get rid of the shave cream and to add more scent to my skin, I'm going in with another favourite which is the Way Body Cleanser in the Dean Street scent. This smells incredible too and it's the perfect base for layering scents. I feel like the Way really did some next level wizardry with the scents because they are just so enchanting and I love how elegant I feel after using these which is why I often turn to these for my self care moments. As the last step, I'm going in with the Everywhere Wash for Sensitive Skin for my Lady Era, then giving myself a good rinse. 
If you know my rituals by now, you know I love to leave my skin damp before going in with a body oil and just using the same products I've been using recently, I'm just going in with the Palmer's Therapy Oil and then the Nivea Irresistibly Smooth Body Lotion and just moisturising these products into my skin. Me moisturising my legs here is actually from the next day because I unfortunately ran out of storage. Um, you can sort of tell by the hair growth on my legs so yeah, I don't know if you realised. This routine was super simple and I'm might have exfoliated a little bit too much for my skin but my skin does feel smooth and it feels soft and hydrated especially after making sure I locked in the moisture at the end I think my skin is gonna be fine for the rest of the day it smells great too <laughs> so yeah I really enjoyed this routine I added the whey products just to sort of take it up a notch otherwise I would have just kept it simple but that is all for this video. I'll have everything linked below in case you wanted to check out any of the products I used. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like so I know and don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you in the next one. Take care. This is my nighttime shower routine for nourished and radiant soft skin and in this video I'll be showing you my in shower, post shower and skincare routine and so welcome or welcome back to another video. If you are new here my name is Judy and I love all things self care especially when it comes to a good shower routine so if this is something you love and enjoy then why not stay a while. So I always start with my dental hygiene as part of my pre-shower ritual. So here is all the products I use in case you haven't seen my previous videos, which you can check out on my channel if you want to see these in more detail. But for this video, we are getting started straight in the shower. First thing I like to do in the shower is saturate my whole body with water, then I like to go in with a cleanser and today I'm using the Eucalyptus Scented Body Wash from Necessaire and I'm using this with my wash net. This body wash has so much goodness packed into it for cleansing, nourishing, softening and balancing your skin. I've almost run out of this product, it is so good and I just love how healthy my skin feels after using this. I feel like this is great for nighttime for me because I correlate Eucalyptus with relaxation but you can use this any time of the day. I think next time I'll be getting the fragrance free one which is also going to help with scent layering. I'm double cleansing in this routine so I'm rinsing off then going back in with the same cleanser and wash net and this is just going to give a deeper cleanse and help remove any impurities that I most likely didn't get rid of in the first cleanse. So I'm also exfoliating today and I'm using this body exfoliator also from Necessaire and this is honestly one of the best exfoliators I've ever used. It's both a chemical and physical exfoliator. This is great for all skin types and sensitive skin because it's not too abrasive and the chemical part is going to do a lot of the work for you to help reveal softer and smoother skin. And I usually use this once a week. You can use it once or twice but normally I just use this in my Sunday routine and I always find I get the best shave results after using this too. On to shaving, I'm using my usual products. I also changed my razor head for a new one, so I was super excited to shave today. A good exfoliation and new razor always go perfectly together and I love how my legs feel after this routine.
Okay, so after shaving, I'm also going in with the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash from Naturium, which we all love. So many of you tried this from my winter shower routine, and I just love that for you. I hope you're enjoying this product as much as me. And I'm using this straight onto my skin and massaging it all over with my hands. For best results, they recommend to leave this product on for a few minutes, so I do that before rinsing. <laughs> And just before I exit the shower, I take care of my Lady Aero with the Everywhere Wash for Sensitive Skin from Luna Daily. So now we are on to our post shower care and I'm starting with my usual go to oil at the moment. I'm determined to finish this before trying any other oil so I'm almost there. This is the skin therapy oil. I do have to say though that I much prefer the Palmer's moisturizing body oil to this and I feel like it gives, I feel like that one gives so much more of a glow and feels more moisturizing on the skin so I might pick that up again after this one is finished. Today I'm using a different lotion I haven't shared with you yet. I haven't used it as much as I'd like because I'm trying to finish a lot of my other products before they expire but I've had this for a while this is from Naturium it's the biolipid restoring body lotion which works to replenish moisture and it contains shea butter which is my absolute holy grail ingredient and I I believe I got this together with the glow getter as a bundle as I was editing this video I saw they had an offer on so I've linked that below for you in case you did want to get your hands on these with a little discount I'm also paying extra attention to my feet and what I like to do is once I've oiled and lotioned my feet I'll put on some super thick socks just to lock in all those products I've used for an intense makeshift treatment for soft hydrated feet. These socks never stay on in bed though because I hate my feet being hot. I just cannot deal. Is anyone else like this or is it just me? Okay, so onto my skincare. I'm putting these wristband things on first though because there is nothing worse than having water or product run down your arm when washing your face, just no. And then the first thing I'm using is the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is literally a staple in my skincare. I love it so much. This is great for taking off your makeup or even just as a first cleanse like I'm doing. It has that spa experience feel and I just look forward to using this every time and it feels amazing on the skin. I always apply this onto dry skin then instead of using a cloth I add warm water to emulsify it and then rinse off completely with warm water. For my second cleanse I'm using the CeraVe foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin after using the cleansing balm and then going in with this it feels so good and then once I'm done I rinse off with warm water again and I just let my face air dry until it's slightly damp. It seems long doing this but trust me it's not at all. Tonight is a glycolic acid night, so I'm using this one from The Ordinary. I just saturate a cotton pad and wipe this all over my face and let it sit for a bit. Then I'm going in with my Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. This and the Cleansing Balm are my absolute Elemis essentials. The Superfood Facial Oil is just going to give your skin the greens it needs and it's great for keeping in whatever you've just previously put on your skin. For my under eyes, I'm using this sample I got from Clinique. This is the All About Eyes. I like how soothing and hydrating this feels on. I just use a tiny amount and I pat this in with my finger under and around my eyes and let my skin do the rest to absorb this in. And to finish, I'm going in with my Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial, which smells amazing. It's like a burst of summer berries. If you did want to get something from Elemis, then I am your girl. This is not sponsored, but I have been an Elemis Skin Cider for over a year now. And my 20% discount code is always available when you need it. So I'll link it below for you. If you was to only get one thing, I always recommend the cleansing balms. They last so long and just so worth it. For my lips, I'm using my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Love, love, love. Last in my routine are my hands and nails. I'm going in with my beloved nail and cuticle oil from OPI. My nails always look fresh and brand new with this. And for my hands, I'm using this hand cream from Laura Mercier in the Amber Vanilla scent. When I was checking my links in my shop on my shop my, I realized that this is actually out of stock everywhere. So I do apologize if you wanted to try this. I did purchase this a while ago now, so I'm not sure when or if this is coming back at all, but I'll still have 
have a link below in case it does. I mean, it does smell and feel so good, so I'm not surprised to be honest. And that's it for my nighttime shower routine. My skin feels nourished, soft, and it looks radiant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, so I will see you in the next one. Take care. Welcome everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my full shower routine as I'll also be trying out some new hair products as well. So first things first, it's my hair wash and the new products I'm using are from Rita Ora and Anna Lahi's new hair care brand called Type B, which focuses on natural hair growth for every hair type. So starting with their G2 product, which is a shampoo containing salicylic acid, Pro-vitamin B5 and argan oil to gently cleanse and exfoliate the scalp and hair whilst adding moisture for a healthy, balanced scalp and protection for your hair. It feels medium to thick in consistency at first but lathers nicely on contact with water. Applying to the scalp feels nice and you can feel the dirt and product build up already lifting away. It's also super easy to rinse out. Going in with another round of shampoo for a deeper cleanse, I can already feel the product working a lot more easier as my hair is feeling even more clean and lightweight to touch. Next I'm using the G3 product which is a conditioner containing plant based keratin and an infusion of actives to smooth, seal and restore hair whilst hydrating and nourishing your hair with a weightless formula. Now it does feel lightweight on contact with hair and I find I need a lot of it to be able to get that easy detangle that I usually look for. Hair does feel smooth and it does feel hydrated once the product is worked through my hair as you can see the difference between one side compared to the other. I think the shampoo and conditioner are great products but I definitely feel they could have a bit more moisture to them especially for those with curls and coils. I wouldn't use these without adding some sort of deep conditioner or leave-in conditioner after. So with that being said, I'm also going in with the G4 product which is a hydrogloss treatment mask containing a dose of biometric ceramide, argan oil, avocado oil, shea butter and a stronger form of hyaluronic acid which all work together to decrease hair damage, stopping ends from splitting and breaking whilst nourishing, protecting and deeply hydrating for smooth and glossy hair. It feels more thicker in consistency than the conditioner as you would expect and my hair feels even more smoother with this saturated all over my hair. As I'm leaving this in for a few minutes, I tie this up so I can continue with some of my shower routine.
Beginning with my face, I'm taking my simple age resisting facial wash. This has been in my skincare for a while now. It feels similar to the other face washes and leaves my skin feeling refreshed and hydrated without stripping its natural oils. And it's definitely friendly in the budget department. Keeping my head tilted back, I'm taking my hair down to rinse out the product. My hair feels hydrated, refreshed and quite strong, however I do feel like I would still have to go in with a leave-in conditioner which I think would be a great addition to the hairline for those that want an extra step in their hair routine for more moisture. Now to finalise this hair growth routine, I'm taking the G1 product, which is an overnight boosting peptide to increase hair thickness and promote hair growth. This is lightweight, non-stick formula and can be applied nightly onto clean, dirty, dry or wet hair and leave on to revive roots for longer hair. I love the application bottle, it makes it super easy to apply. Time can only tell with this one, but I'm super excited to see what this will do over time as I've seen some really positive results for promoting hair growth as well as hair loss. To finish off my hair wash routine, I'm taking the Mayel Organics Leave-In Conditioner, which I absolutely love. It's lightweight, but instantly moisturizes and leaves hair feeling soft. Officially moving on to my body, I'm using the Dove Pro Age Body Wash. I love how clean and soft my skin feels after using this. This is great for mature and aging skin as it works to nourish and hydrate the skin. It's also delicate on the skin as well and has a lovely delicate scent. Okay, so I'm still yet to buy some shave creams, so I'm using the Notorium Glow Getter Body Wash as a substitute as it's super moisturising and conditioning on the skin and what I thought was a good idea did not turn out bad at all. The razor is easy to use with this and is much better than using a normal body wash of course or a body oil like last time. So if you ever run out of shave cream, this might do you just fine.
Now I'm taking my wash net and going back in with the Notorium Glow Getter Body Wash and using this all over my body for a deeper cleanse and to leave my skin feeling nourished. And as always, I'm going in with the Everywhere Wash from Luna Daily for sensitive skin for my lady area before my final rinse. Whilst my hair is still wet, I'm slicking it down with the Eco Styler Argan Oil Hair Gel. This has lasted me almost a year and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I should not be sleeking my hair back as much as I do. But this big tub has lasted me for all of this time. Next, I'm going in with the Palmer's Moisturising Body Oil to lock in moisture and soften my skin, an absolute essential in my body care routine. Then I'm going in with the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion from Notorium to nourish and also moisturise my skin. So moving on to skincare, I'm taking the Pharmaceris Calming Moisturising Face Toner. I have been loving using this lately. It's so gentle upon application and it feels so light on the skin. Next, I'm taking one of my Elemis Essentials, which is the Superfood Facial Oil and pressing this onto my damp skin all over my face. Then I'm taking my favourite moisturiser at the moment which is the Walida Skin Food. This works wonders for me, it's great for locking everything in and keeping my skin glowing. Lastly, for my lips, I'm taking everyone's favourite, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask to keep my lips hydrated, soft and moisturised. So that is it for this routine. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Welcome everyone, I hope you are all doing well. 
we are going to be going through my current shower routine, showing you what I'm using and also I'll be trying out some new products too. If you saw my recent unboxing video, you'll recognise a couple of the products from there as well. So first things first I'll be doing before I wet my skin is dry brushing. I feel like I've talked a lot about this but not actually shown you how I use it. I like to use this as an exfoliation technique before showering to help lift away any dead skin cells. I'm making sure to start at the lower part of my body and work my way up, brushing my skin towards my heart as the saying goes. So I've been wearing my hair straight for the past month now, I just feel like it's so much easier when it comes to styling as I still haven't found any curly hair styling products that I feel like I can stick with yet. Also, I just wanted to switch my hair up for a bit. If you have any product recommendations, I'd love to check them out so make sure to comment them down below. One of the newest products I've been using lately is the Lamella Shine range from Tresemme. I received this in a package from Community Scene and I really do like it. It would probably suit someone with more straight hair to be honest but it does really well to cleanse and doesn't leave my hair dry which is always great for my hair. I shampoo twice as always, making sure to get into my scalp to remove all of the oil, dirt and product. I do tend to leave the end of my hair, which majorly needs a trim, but we are not going to worry about that, but leaving the ends of my hair as to not dry out my ends any further. Now using the conditioner I take a generous amount and apply it all over my hair. Both the shampoo and conditioner are made to smoothen and add shine to your hair. They also have two styling products in the range which I have been using which is the leave-in cream serum and finishing oil. Both have been a great addition for my straight hair routine so far. Once I have detangled my hair ensuring the conditioner has covered all of my hair, I tie it up so it is out of the way, ready for the next step. Today for my body I'm using the body wash from Nivea in the coconut and jojoba oil scent which is super simple and lovely. It suds up really well into a creamy texture that feels lovely on the skin and the scent isn't overpowering at all but makes a nice addition to your summer shower routine or any time for that matter. I'm also shaving today as well so I'll give my underarms a run over with my razor which you've seen a million times and for my legs I use this with the Be By Superdrug shaving gel with argan oil. I have enjoyed using this, I think this is the first time I've purchased it to try and so far so good, it's also done really well with lasting a while too.
after rinsing out the conditioner from my hair I'm going to be adding a curl cream I haven't used it in a while which is this one from Buclem it has really curly hair friendly ingredients hair doesn't feel weighed down but it is left feeling nourished I believe this is vegan as well so if you are on the search for vegan curly hair products then I'd recommend checking them out once I've detangled my hair with this in and covered my hair with this product I tie it back to keep it out of the way as I'll most likely style it or wear it down later For my final body wash I'm using the Notorium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I really don't want to finish it but I also can't go without it so we are using it today especially after exfoliating and shaving to help make my skin feel soft, nourished and glowing. Also there is two ways I use it, I don't know if I mentioned it before. If I want that soft silky feeling similar to using a shower cream or shower oil I'll massage it straight onto my skin and then rinse. But if I don't want that feeling I'll just use it with some think like I'm using now and it will just give your skin what it needs without the residue which to me really isn't a residue as I find it absorbs really well into the skin either way. Does that make sense? Last in the shower is using the everywhere wash for sensitive skin which I really need to restock up on. So if you watch my routines you already know what's next, I'm taking the Palmer's body oil and massaging this all over damp skin to lock in moisture. Someone had a question the other day about why I apply oil first before lotion and whilst I did my best to explain, I haven't really thought about it prior to our conversation so thanks for asking if you see this. It's just kind of something I always do since I first tried it, really there is no right or wrong way of doing it, it just depends on the product itself as different products may work differently due to ingredients, some lotions might might work best before oil and vice versa and also it depends on what you are trying to achieve. So for my lotion I'm using the Notorium Biolipid one, this mixes really nicely with the oil and my skin just feels so soft and nourished, I love this combo. Another new product I'm trying today is the ACT deodorant balm which was kindly sent to me to try it out. I love the packaging, it looks so luxurious and feels like amazing quality too. This goes on like a balm and I think it's going to be one of those where I just have to try it out for a while and update you so stay tuned. Okay. 
I feel like being all pink today so I'm throwing on a pink PJ slash loungewear set and I've also got my wristbands on ready for my skincare. So the first product I'm using is this one that I have been really enjoying recently. This is a cleanser by Gatineau which is a cream that turns into an oil. Now I massage this on to dry skin like an oil cleanser then add water to emulsify and then wash away the product. I like how well this takes off your makeup as well and feels so nice ice on the skin too. I do also go in with a simples cleanser to double cleanse and just ensure my skin is absolutely clean. Once I've rinsed this off on my wet skin, I then apply the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 and massage this gently all over before taking my little fan to help with the drying time. Keeping it simple, I'm just going in with a sensitive skin favourite of mine which is the Anthemis from Pi Skincare. This is absolutely divine on the skin, it really helps with soothing and moisturising skin, especially with those that have eczema and rosea prone skin. Keeping it pink, I thought I'd go in with my Dior lip oil that I never like to use because my bestie got me it but at the same time it's really hard to resist. It's so good, if you've been thinking about getting it, get it. And lastly, I'm just taking some coconut oil to add to my ends and a little bit all over to seal in my hair and then just letting my hair air dry. And last but not least, for fragrance, I've chosen the Cosmic by Kylie Jenner. It's a lovely musky fragrance that gives a sort of feminine mystique type vibe and I've really been enjoying it. So that is it for this routine. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Welcome everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So before diving into this week's shower routine, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on the journey we've been on together. At the start of this year, I made a commitment to focus on growing this channel and I'm just amazed at how far we've come. I remember dreaming of reaching 1,000 subscribers and now with just over 1,200 of you here, I'm blown away every day, every like, comment and subscription fills me with so much motivation and gratitude and when someone subscribes i'm literally like what the heck it just truly blows my mind and i'm so thankful for each and every one of you i can't wait until i can fully invest in this channel the way i've always dreamed and find even more ways to give back to you and just thank you so much for your incredible support with just over four months left in the year i'm excited to see where this journey will take us anything can happen between now and then so let's give our best shot and go after what we want so by the end of the year we can proudly say we did it so comment below something you want to work on or achieve and let's support each other in making it happen now let's get into today's video So 
So first thing is washing my hair, starting off with rinsing and detangling my hair under the shower to make it easier and less knotted when washing my hair. Reaching for my Myel Organics shampoo, I realised it's pretty much finished so I decided to completely finish it using every last drop before reaching for another shampoo. I've talked about it plenty of times but this range from Myel Organics will always sit at the top for me. They are super moisturising and hydrating on my hair and I love how my hair is left feeling. If you haven't already, I'd definitely recommend trying them out for your curly hair and the scent is incredible especially being pomegranate which I absolutely love. After I've massaged this into my scalp with the one from Pantene, I rinse this out before going in with more of the Pantene Gold Series shampoo. This one is almost finished as well so I guess we are using up all the empty ones today which only means making room for more. So let me know if you have any great curly hair wash product suggestions in the comments below. I make sure to get this into the scalp to lift away any dirt, sweat and oils for a nice clean scalp before rinsing again. I'm going straight in with a conditioning treatment rather than a conditioner today and I'm using the one from Type B which is the G4 product. I like this one the most out of the range, my hair feels super hydrated after using it and I like that you can use it as a mask or a leave-in conditioner and once I've coated my hair with this and brushed it through I then tie my hair up to begin with my body care. For body wash I'm using this Dove Nourishing Silk Body Wash which smells so so good. It gives off their original fragrance which is then elevated with something else. I couldn't tell you what the notes are but it just smells so expensive, it's so good. I also love how well this lathers and feels so creamy on my skin. I feel like if you want a pampering experience but you're on a budget this would be perfect.
after rinsing this off, I take a little more of this product to use for shaving my underarms before then going in with the B by Superdrug shaving gel for my legs. I'm still enjoying this product, it creates a lot of foam and feels nice to shave with. I think Superdrug did a good job with this one and also is a great affordable option too. Focusing back on my hair again, I rinse the tight peak treatment out and go in with the Myel Organic Sleeve-In Conditioner, another favourite. I use enough of this to coat all of my hair and rake the product through with my fingers before loosely tying my hair up and out of the way. For my final body wash, you probably guessed it, I'm going in with the Notorium Multi Oil Glow Getter Body Wash to cleanse and nourish my skin. I'm using this with the wash net to make sure all of the hair products are washed off my skin and also to massage this into my skin before rinsing off. I just love how my skin looks and feels after using this. And as always, my final step in my shower is going in with the Everywhere Wash for Sensitive Skin from Luna Daily.
Moving on to my post shower routine, I thought this would be a good example of when I'd probably use a body lotion before a body oil and one of the reasons would be because the lotion might be a treatment like this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I decided to use this on my problem areas such as my hips, my inner thighs and backs of my legs where I'm prone to stretch marks and uneven skin. Then using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Oil, I massage this on top and all over the rest of my body. Also going in with the Naturium Biolipid Body Lotion for a complete finish. For my underarms I'm going in with the Actiodrant Balm, it's been a couple of weeks now and I've been using this every day however I'm still unsure of what my final thoughts are. This is completely different to anything I've used before but what I will say is it feels so nice on my skin to have something moisturising. I also like the way it turns into a powder but the verdict is still out and I will just keep using it for longer before making up my mind. So keeping my skincare simple, I'm going in with a cream to oil cleanser which is the one from Gatineau. I'm still enjoying using it, I feel like it's so fun and pretty to use and love how my skin feels after using it. It adds a sort of luxurious experience to my skincare routine as well. I always emulsify it by adding a little bit of water before rinsing off with warm water. To double cleanse I'm using the Simples Age Resisting Moisturising Facial Wash which is also gentle and effective on my skin. I just ensure to emulsify this enough and massage gently all over and rinse off with warm water. Then on cleansed wet skin, I take the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid plus B5 Serum and massage this all over very lightly ensuring I've captured all the water left on my skin. Then I take my fan to my skin to speed up the drying process.
sticking to gentle and moisturising products, I'm taking the Anthemis by Pi skincare and massaging this all over for a soothing and calming moisturising finish. I will definitely have to give you an updated night routine to show you how I'm also using retinol in my skincare as well. For my lips, I'm going in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love using this whether it's day or night, but always ensuring after it's on cleansed, damp skin to make sure it's the most effective. doing much to my hair today just letting it be free but for my fragrance I'm wearing the Prada Paradox perfume which is a favorite of mine it fits really nicely in the type of fragrance I usually go for which is oriental type fragrances and this one feels a little more young and playful so I've been really enjoying this one that is it for this routine thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one take care Welcome everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Before we get into this week's shower routine, I'm excited to announce that we've hit a big milestone. We now have channel memberships and I couldn't have done it without you, so a huge thank you to everyone for your support. This means the absolute world and I'm just so grateful to each and every one of you, so just thank you so much. And with that being said, if you'd like to join a lovely, like-minded community and enjoy exclusive perks consider becoming a member of my glow membership it's a great way to support the channel and it helps me keep creating content for you and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's free and really does help get my videos out to more people now let's jump into today's video we are trying out quite a few new products today which I'm so excited for because they look so good. I've been looking for some new curly hair products and I managed to get my hands on the new Red Ken Acid Bonding Curls Trio. If you've seen my recent unboxing video you already know this range has been created to help restore damaged curls and coils and it's also silicone and sulfate free. So starting off with the Acidic Bonding Curl Shampoo this feels like a creamy gel texture and emulsifies really nicely on contact with water. It works really well to cleanse my scalp and does not feel stripping at all and I must say this smells really nice too. After rinsing out the shampoo, I go in for a second cleanse to get a deeper clean and focus just on my scalp. I can feel the shampoo suds up a lot more the second time round as I would expect and again my hair does not feel stripped at all. I'd say it feels really nice to cleanse with, feels like a normal shampoo but more hydrating and caring on your hair which is great for curly hair.
Now onto the conditioner. This feels a lot more thicker than the shampoo and is really creamy. This also goes on really nicely on my hair and it feels even better as soon as I start detangling. Using my brush through my hair feels really easy as using some of my other favourite conditioners and also feels like it's making my hair feel nice and smooth, so so far, so good. So it's time to let the conditioner get to work by tying my hair up whilst I focus on the rest of my body. I'm starting this week with a fresh bottle of Dove body wash in the original scent which I love. I'm pairing this with some exfoliating gloves for a deep cleansing effect with a light exfoliation. You just can't go wrong with a Dove body wash. I personally love how gentle and cleansing they are and my skin always feels fresh yet still hydrated after using. I'm also shaving today so I'm taking my new razor head with my current handle and going straight into shaving my underarms. I love a fresh new razor which is so important in achieving smooth and an easy shave. Once my underarms are done, I take some shave cream and apply this to both my legs before then taking my razor and shaving them fully. Now I'm rinsing out the conditioner, my hair feels so soft but some parts I do feel like could have sat a little bit longer with the conditioner but nonetheless I'm pleased with how soft and hydrated my hair feels.
I then take the leave-in conditioner and apply this all over my hair. I wasn't sure if I should finger comb this through or not so I just took my Denman brush to spread this product all over my hair evenly. The consistency feels a lot more thinner than the conditioner and I feel like this has its own variation of scent. Almost like there is a hint of some, I don't know, like some spice in it. It's making me crave a pumpkin latte. I then tie up my hair again before continuing the rest of my routine. So this is the time for my second body cleanse which I always like to do after my hair is done and I also love to use the Glow Getter body wash for its hydrating benefits. I always love how my skin feels after using this and my goodness it's almost running out. Last in my shower routine is taking care of my lady area with the everywhere wash from Luna Daily. I bought these two as a bundle because I have been loving them and this is the only product I'll use down there and have done so since the beginning of this year or maybe like February, something like that. So I'd highly recommend giving these a try if you're looking for something that's not going to irritate you and not disrupt your pH balance. Moving on to my post shower routine, I'm also excited to be trying out some new body care from The Ordinary with you today. Again, you'd have seen these in my recent unboxing video. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already. I'm first starting with the salicylic acid 0.5% body serum, which is basically the same thing you'd use on your face but for your body. This is going to help with exfoliating your body by unblocking pores and evening skin texture. I am quite surprised to feel the consistency being quite thin but applying it on my body is pretty easy. You just have to be careful as of course it moves really quickly so only use small amounts at a time. I'm then going in with the Niacinamide 5% Face and Body Serum. This is going to help with uneven skin and improve dark spots. I feel like you already know The Ordinary is going to work and whilst this body care products are a new type for me, I do like how they feel on my skin so far. I think both these products are going to work really well together. The cat 
Lastly, I'm sealing the serums in with this lotion, which is also said to provide all day hydration and strengthen your skin barrier just after one application. I can also say that feeling my skin whilst editing this video, it does still feel hydrated. I can feel that there is a product on my skin, but it's nothing that's transferable and my skin does feel really soft. I can definitely see myself using this trio quite regularly and also remember if you are using acids on your face and body then you must wear SPF if you are going out and exposing your skin. Time for skincare, I'm using the simple moisturising facial wash, just a staple in my skincare routine at this point. I like to lather this up and massage this all over my skin until my skin feels so soft before rinsing off. I'm then taking the ordinary hyaluronic acid and sealing in the water on my skin. I couldn't really be bothered to reach for my fan, so today I'm just fanning my face with my hands until my face is dry. Hyaluronic acid has become a key product in my routine as my skin always looks and feels more hydrated and just more alive after using this. I'm also taking some of the niacinamide I use earlier for my body and using some on my face as well. For moisturiser, I've been using the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors Plus Beta Glucan, which is a water-based gel that targets dryness. When I first tried this, I wasn't so sure about it, but after using it consistently for a couple of weeks now, I am liking it. I also make sure to use this generously and on top of Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and doing so has left my skin feeling so hydrated. For my lips, I'm using the Laneige Lip Sleeper Mask, which just speaks for itself at this point. Last of all is my hair. I'd usually add some sort of styling product or do something to my hair, but I kind of just want to see what the leave-in conditioner does for my hair alone. On first taking my hair down, you can see the roots of my hair seem more dry or frizzy than the ends do, so it'll be interesting to see my hair once it's fully dry, then I can decide what I should do and use next time round. But so far, I've enjoyed the new Redken and the Ordinary products. Let me know if you'll be trying any of these for yourself but that is it for this routine thank you so much for watching as always and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one take care